a bombshell new book has made some shocking allegations about the day R&B singer and actress Aaliyah boarded a private jet that took her life. The Grammy winner's life was cut drastically short when the lighter craft crashed in the Bahamas in 2001, killing her, the pilot and all eight passengers on board. Aaliyah was just 22. Now a new biography titled Baby Girl, better known as Aaliyah, by music journalist Kathy Ian Dolly, alleges the singer, full name Aaliyah Dania Houghton, was given a sleeping pill and carried unconscious onto the aircraft before the fatal crash. They took her out of the van. She didn't even know she was getting boarded on a plane, eyewitness Kingsley Russell, while was with Aaliyah, before she boarded the aircraft, said. She went on the airplane asleep. Russell was only 13 at the time, but it was her family that owned a taxi company used by Leah and Horentridge. It was reportedly Russell's mum who drove the group to the airport for their return flight to Miami. They had been in the Bahamas to film a music video Rock the Boat. According to the New York Post, Alilia was an anxious flyer and allegedly had reservations about boarding the private jet after hearing the aircraft was pushing its weight limits by having eight passengers as well as their bags and cameras on board. Russell claimed Alilia was uneasy about the situation and that at one point a member of her team handed the Romeo Must Die actress a sleeping pill, which put her in a deep sleep before she was allegedly carried unconscious onto the plane.